There's a couple of, uh, there might be a couple of screws I need to get tightened up, but other than that, they're in good condition. Oh, yeah, see this one? Yeah, just a screw, though. Let's fix that up. Yeah, the screw missing. Easy fix. Looks like we got a scrapper out there. Uh, yeah, we'll give this one a shot. Mm, don't want to take this. Give it a shot, see if we can't make it work. Let's see, what do we got here? Concrete masonry sealer. Is it brand new? Yeah, I think we're gonna take these. We'll take this for sure. I don't even see that. The reason I'm stopping is because I think Chris needs some cinder blocks. So I thought I'd come pick these up for him. golf it's like a game let's see it's like a like a backyard you know tailgate game Batteries. Um, stuff kind of stinks kind of stinks oh yeah I can't do it. The only thing I'm gonna take these batteries, boy, that trash stunk really bad. Really bad. You know, sometimes it's worth digging around for that stuff, but man, that that whole pile smelled something awful. Oh, my door's open. Yep. 
gonna be what they call a hard no. Let's see, little tables. Definitely gonna take these little tables. A couple good little bikes. Brakes are like brand new. Good brakes. Good brakes. Let's see. You know what's funny is that I saw like two other pickers out there. And man, we were racing around each other <laughs> trying to get ahead of the other person. And looks like I might have gotten the best of them because I got heading them just enough to get this little pile right here. Let's see. Oh man, come on, baby. There we go. What is this? I don't know, it's a good piece of wood though. I'm not passing this guy out. Make some shelves out of this. Oh man, look at all these skateboards. See what else? See what else we got over here? Bunch of bowls and plates. Oof. I think I'm gonna have to pass on these. That is. So say, I love us. You love me. Uh, I got some of that stuff I haven't been able to get rid of yet. What are these? Shipping boxes, maybe. This good old step ladder. And we'll take this ladder right here. Nothing's wrong with it. Oh man, that was kind of fun. I mean, I didn't, I didn't record none of that, but man, racing <laughs> these guys. But you never know; they might have picked up their own little pile as well. But I'm happy with mine. Let's see, guys. Am I gonna take any of this stuff? It's a volleyball net. I don't know if I'll take a volleyball net or not. I'm scared that's gonna be a break. It's gonna break wherever I go. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's broken on top anyways.
I think that's gonna be it. Take this batter's helmet. All right, that was a little score that we needed right there. So there's this boy. I don't know. These are kind of cute. I'm gonna take these. I'll figure out what they say here in a minute. <sighs> You know what? I'll go ahead and put these guys in here. Let's see. Little keyboard. Something in here. This is trash. All right, guys. So we're gonna do a quick walkthrough. Um, not gonna take too much time because. Um, it was a pretty short night, but we found some good things, so here we go. All right, we'll start with this stuff over here. There's a couple of uh, signs here says, so this is boy, he stole our hearts, he calls us mom and dad. This cute little, you know, sign about uh, their son. Uh, then you got this one here, it says, you are braver than you think, smarter than you believe, and loved more than you know. Uh, again, probably something for their, their boy. Down right here. And I kind of like this one a lot. It's made out of some kind of, I don't know, glass stone. And it's uh, like an antique window frame. Kind of cool there. Really like that one. I picked it up. Usually don't pick up stuff like that, but that was really nice. I might even take that to the booth. I'm not sure. Let's see. We had a bunch of skateboards. Well, let me show you this guy first. It was just a little hat, a little helmet. Academy, they go for 30 bucks. I don't know. I'll probably sell it for like $5, $10. Um, this is a, a vintage Kryptonix um, skateboard. It's a torpedo, and I want to say these are from like the 60s or 70s. Let me see if that's a day. Oh yeah, right here. See, it says Kryptonix 1965. So that's a pretty old guy there. Kind of makes me hope that maybe some of these others are also vintage, but I'm not sure. The original Kryptonix skateboard. This is just the board by itself. Look at that one. This one here is Santa Cruz. Don't see any riding on a lot. What I'm gonna have to do is kind of look these up and see if I find any pictures of these similar online and see if I can find a date that way. Uh, this one's kind of cool. It's like a Cartoon Network theme here. Got the different uh, cartoons from, I mean, I don't know what 60s 70s these are the most Saturday morning cartoons that you know we used to watch as kids and then it's just a thrasher on the bottom don't see any kind of writing on the bottom but definitely a cool board nonetheless you got this guy here just the board no no chucks or wheels or nothing like that. This one says Passport. 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 Get no writing on it. Just a cool new little deck. There. Okay. I'll move it on to the rocking chairs. They're pretty. Well, man, they. I wouldn't sit on them. But. <laughs> You know, they seem to be decent shape. I think you just need to tighten some screws down. This one here had a loose, needs one screw there, but we'll get that screw replaced. Sell them for pretty cheap, because these aren't like really, really heavy. Sell those cheap. And we got the A-frame ladder here. My Gorilla Ladders. It's a six foot ladder. Um, I don't know if there's any writing on it or anything. No. 
no indication on the weight capacity or anything like that so we'll have to play that by ear and just say sell it as is but it's a decent looking ladder uh this ladder golf i'll put a picture of what this looks like set up so you guys can get an idea it's basically like a backyard slash you know tailgate game uh kind of kind of neat might keep that not sure but uh it's in the bag it's pretty good condition got these two little tables here man you can't ever have too many tables when you have garage sales and stuff like that so i went ahead and picked these up because you, you just never know they're not in great condition but you know it's two little tables we can use to throw stuff on i'm curious to see how much these are worth because it says these are sealed i'm sure this is a seal for it Let's prevent liquid leaks don't see any price on it but i'll look it up and i'll put you know comps here of what these things sell for brand new foundation armor l3000 clear matte professional grade so it's it's like a sealant for concrete it's two are these two liters each one of these anyways those two this guy here is really loose this might just end up being firewood we'll see either that or i'll put it i've got a free page where i put stuff on there that i give away uh for locals i might just throw this on the free page see if someone wants to redo this because i'm not going to put the work into it but it's really really wobbly but we'll see got the little step stool this little huffy cruiser really good condition really good condition uh, seats good probably just needs air to be honest with you handlebars are good the grips the frame is in excellent condition the chain looks really good a lot of times these start to wear out you'll see the spokes all rusted up but this one looks pretty good it's got some good tread on the tire so i'm, I'm willing to bet that all it needs is air and then you got this other uh was it a huffy also or schwinn the schwinn uh this is a good one a little mountain bike it's a bigger one, what about 26 inch tire maybe? It's a good bike. But yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Sometimes, uh, you know, I say it a lot, of, I say this often, but it's not always about how much stuff you find, because sometimes you just need to find really a handful of things or one good spot to really make the night worth it. You know, these skateboards, who knows how much they'll go for. I might give some to Chris, because he collects them. But you know the the signage you know 10 20 bucks each maybe that big one right here with the wooden uh, antique window frame that could be a 40 dollar bill you add these up 20 bucks each sold as is all of a sudden you're at 60 70 bucks or so ladder starts adding up guys it starts adding up before you know it you're well over 100 dollars right here not including the bikes you know 40 bucks each bike or so so yeah we did good i think we'll make about 200 bucks off this this little pickup for about two hours worth of picking not bad not even including this i don't know how much these are these could be worth a lot of money too all right so that's going to do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it um real quick show you know i've got a couple more weeks of this uh crazy schedule that i got coming up and then i will be back on a normal schedule uh, by the time you guys see this i should be back on a normal schedule they cut it shorter than i expected which is good great news for me uh be able to get out and make these videos for you guys and stay out longer make better videos so uh thanks for hanging tight with me i uh, hope you guys enjoy the video uh hey, don't forget to hit like all that good stuff that we ask you to do if you're not subscribed please do so it doesn't cost you a single penny all it does is let youtube know that you enjoy the videos and that you want them to recommend my channel more often by hitting the little button that says subscribe cost you zero dollars all right so uh as we always do i uh, definitely want to uh uh end off with this enough so father we just want to thank you so much for your your many blessings lord we just want to thank you for um just everything that you do for us in our lives father for opening doors for us for giving us out here father to be able to find this stuff and find it good homes for it instead of it being in the trash lord i just want to thank you for your for your mercy for your compassion father 
uh, for your gift of salvation through your son Jesus Christ and I ask you father that you would touch the lives of those who are watching the video right now Lord that you know that they are loved father that they are not alone and uh, that you are a great God a greater God than we deserve but a great God nonetheless father we just want to thank you so much for being there for us and it's in the name of Jesus Christ that we pray amen all right guys hope you guys received that till next time peace